What's up, everyone? This is FP Sticks bringing you some more Go Battle League battles here in the Ultra League. Man, Master League is coming tomorrow, I believe, on Friday. Um, so we got to start prepping for that. Uh, the Master League meta is uh, a little bit more restricted than even the Ultra League meta is, so we kind of got to watch out for that. You're going to see a lot of Giratina Origin forms, a lot of Dialga. I hope you got your best buddy boost on the Dialga so you can get those... Uh, break points and bulk points to win the mirror match, but uh, today we're going to be doing some more Ultra League battles here. I'm still rolling with uh, the team that I have been enjoying using, and I've actually been doing fairly well. You can see I am above 3,000 rating right now, 3,026. Rolling with Armored, uh, Armored Mewtwo, Lapras, and Alolan Muck. This matchmaking is still taking so long. Does it take you guys this long to find a match? I don't know. Maybe in the I'm doing this like around dinner time, so maybe fewer people are on, but whenever I do it in the middle of the day as well, I, it's very hard for me to find a match. Man, this is, uh, okay, there we go. Going up against Martin LW, something like that. Let's see how this goes. Oh, mirror match. All right. <clears throat> I had a tournament today that I waited for my self cup. I went three and three in it, and I was really disappointed with my performance, but that is okay. Shake it off, learn from your mistakes, and uh, try again another day. Oh, they are running Rock Slide, which is very interesting. They're going to be able to hit me for neutral damage while I'm going to have to hit them for resisted damage with this Psy Strike here. Okay, it looks like I won that CMP tie. I do want to get this Mewtwo a little bit lower, but I am going to lose this mirror match uh, just purely because they have Rock Slide. That was weird. They got a Confusion and they were able to throw a Charge move as well. Let's see here. <clears throat> I absorbed that Rock Slide. I'm going to try to load up on a Psy Strike and, and then, okay, never mind. Was gonna try to get out of there. I'm just gonna let this go. That's okay. Maybe they don't have Psy Strike on their Mewtwo. Rock Slide is gonna hit my Lapras for super effective. Um, I'm just gonna bring out my Alolan Muck. Totally snarl this thing down. Crazy aggressive farm down time. Let's go. Let's go. Snarl all the way. Gonna end this with 100 energy probably. Rock Slide does a decent amount of damage. That's no joke. I would love to not get hit by another charge move. Okay, that is great. Even if a Swampert comes out to hard counter me here, which it does. <laughs> Whoa, what'd you switch into? Oh my gosh, what a freaking play. What a freaking play. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Let's see if I can bait them here. I want to get one of those shields off. There is a shield. I'm gonna bring out my Lapras here. I would love to not get hit by a charge move from Togekiss, but yikes. Oh, uh, Ancient Power got crazy debuffed, so I'm not gonna shield this. Even though it hits for super effective, that hardly did anything. I don't know if they got the boost or not because we CMP tied here and the camera doesn't go over to my opponent's Pokemon, so. We will see. Double shields it. Oh, because the charm damage is really going to add up. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, does my Lapras have enough health to survive the mud shots? That is the question. I'm going to have to commit both shields in this matchup. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get an Ice Beam off, and then hopefully be able to... I need to get an Ice Beam off. I don't know if it's gonna happen! Okay. Someone subscribed to me on YouTube in the middle of my charge move, so we're just gonna let that notification sit there. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch into a Lola Muck. Okay, this is even better that they threw their charge move right here. I'm going to save this shield for Alolan Muck and hope that I can get to a Dark Pulse before they can get to two Hydro Cannons. Let's see if it's going to pay off. Because I baited with Dark Pulse in that Togekiss matchup, we're able to do it. 
and take this victory even though we technically lost the lead there but it put our Alolan Muck in a scenario where we could just crazy farm down and then even when they brought in a hard counter with Swamp uh, Swamper we were able to take that match good game there all right, I have over 500 wins in the Ultra League. I never thought I'd see the day where I have that many wins in Ultra League because um, pretty much most of my battling is done in the Great League. Going up against Jetsen1. Really nice rating above 3,000 there. Oh my gosh, you could not ask for a better lead than this. Where are they going to switch out? My Lapras definitely needs to avoid this Machamp. Snorlax. Uh, okay, I'm just going to switch in my Lapras um, just purely to avoid that Machamp. This is most likely going to be a Body Slam, or are they running Super Power? That'd be very... Okay. Body, wow, Body Slam really does not do that much damage. We learned the other day that Ice Beam and Surf have around the same energy efficiency here. I'm going to try to just go for two Ice Beams... Uh, I'll go for I'll go for some surfs here since shields are up. I'm gonna put on a little bit more shield pressure. And I think I should be able to get to three surfs here. Okay, no shield committed there. Remember, they still have that Machamp in the back. Which, uh, if we win out the secondary matchup, they're most likely going to bring out that Machamp and counter me down and really load up on energy. Lapras is doing a really great job of outbulking this Snorlax, though. I am hitting Snorlax with uh, stab damage while... Oh boy, is that that had to have been the champ. Yeah, out came the champ. This thing is going to probably get one-shotted by this Psy Strike, and it's now switch-locked against my armored Mewtwo, which is brutal. Oh, it doesn't one-shot it. Okay, my champ is very glassy, but I guess it can hang in the Ultra League. Oh, it doesn't even get off a charge move. That is beautiful. They still have Snorlax. What do they have in the back? If it's gear, if it's any form of Giratina, this is great. If it's Registeel, it's going to be a little bit rough. Can I? Yeah, Machamp doesn't even get off a charge move. What is in the back? Oh my. All right. Let's get both these shields off and then sludge wave the crap out of this Grand Bull. I had an unbelievable lead in this matchup. Put me at a... Great advantage there in the beginning. This Grand Bull's most likely just going to commit to the Charm Farm here. Please shield this up. Oh, it's game over. Beautiful. Here comes the Muck. Can we get a Rage Quit? This is looking like a pretty fresh... Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Not not Rage Quit, but a Surrender. I need to, I need to learn from that. I, I mentioned Rage Quit in one of my previous videos and a bunch of people got upset. They they surrendered. Okay. Good game there. I had an unbelievably favorable leads and then I had an answer for everything they brought in. Sometimes that just happens, man. And there's really nothing you can do about it when you get perfectly uh, countered like that. Okay, going up against another rank 10. e -Hal Scion, Something like that. A lot of funky names to pronounce. This is a favorable lead for me. However, uh, this can get out of hand pretty fast if the Swampert lands an Earthquake. So they have eight Mud Shots um, worth of energy right now. Because they get two Mud Shots in for every one Confusion. I do get a shield there. They allowed one of my Confusions to go through, which is really good. I'm not going to shield this up. Okay, only a Hydro Cannon. They're trying to go for the bait there. Let's see, this is very interesting. They are over farming very heavily here. They're well above Earthquake range. Maybe they're just going to try to like triple Hydro Cannon me with double shields. Double shields the Swampert. I will shield up one of these. Yeah. Another Hydro Cannon in, uh, is going to be coming through. Then I'm expecting... Hmm. I'm going to let this Hydro Cannon go through, even if it's an Earthquake. I'm going to let it go through. It is an Earthquake. Oh, I barely survived, and they mud shot me down. That is not ideal. That is okay. 
This is still a very healthy Swampert that is going to kind of cause my Lapras some problems, too. If they land the Earthquake. Okay. Um, I highly doubt this is an Earthquake, but I could eat my words. <laughs> Great. You'll love to see it. Look at this aggressive farm down. Let's do it. Let's commit to this thing. This has got to be a Hydro Cannon, right? <laughs> no shield. Okay. <laughs> what do they have to answer this? That's a very solid answer. But I'm just going to dump all the energy into this Registeel. We know Swampert is gone. Here's hoping that there is either a Charmer or a Giratina in the back. I should be able to get off maybe another Surf. They're probably going to heavily over farm here because Lapras is really not doing that much damage to Registeel. But I need to get this thing low enough that my Alolan Muck actually stands a chance at taking this thing on. I'm actually, I'm actually going to commit my shield here. Because I want to get off some more Surf damage and I'm just going to totally bank on the fact that whatever is in the back is going to be weak to Alolan Muck. Taking a gamble here takes 12 turns for me to get to this surf what is in the back yep there it is there it is folks it's a giratina but it's a dragon breath giratina i really don't enjoy seeing those very much hmm it's all right it's gonna take more than one dark pulse to take this thing out so i'm okay don't like the lag at all don't like that at all Able to get this Dark Pulse off here. This is going to do like 55 to 60% damage there. It's going to take another Dark Pulse. Um, the great thing is that Registeel's fast moves are going to do hardly any damage to me. So they're going to have to dump their energy. I'm very close to a Surf in my... Um, and I'm just going to I'm just gonna pull the trigger right here and not over farm at all. Registeel has to commit to throwing the charge move. And my Lapras is very close to getting to a Surf. Oh man, but this Registeel is not in Surf range yet. Oh my gosh, I might actually lose this, I think. <laughs> because I didn't over farm. I oh, I do have a Surf. The Lock-On isn't going to be able to take me out, but I don't know if I can get to another Surf before this Registeel gets to a Flash Can. It's going to be in... Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What? D really? Really? Wow. Did Okay. I will take it. I'm not complaining, but I did not think that was going to happen. I thought they had a little bit more stored energy. Granted, yes, I do get to Surf before they get to Flash Cannon, but it's very close. It takes 12 turns for me to get to Surf um, and 13 to get to Flash Cannon. What in the world? Thank you. Uh, I will take that win. Are we three and zero right now? <clears throat> I think we might be three or two and zero. I don't know. Don't even know. Those were good games, though. Ah, the good old match made it. Ma match making wait. Hope you all are doing well out there during these crazy times of quarantine. I had a job interview this morning, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully going to hear back about that later in the week. Another rank 10. You'd love to see it. I love getting paired against other rank 10s because then my rating doesn't drop as much if I lose to them. Okay. This is an interesting matchup. Are they running Dragon Breath or Shadow Claw? Okay. They're running Shadow Claw. We started this game off with some fresh lag. So uh, the way I've been playing this out is throw a size strike and then dip out of there. Over farmed by one confusion. I might even throw one more confusion and then switch into my Alolan Muck. Um, we will see. Okay, they let it go through. Out comes a Lola Muck. Okay, I really hope this is a Shadow Sneak. That would be a great uh, waste of energy on their part. 
Okay, it's a Dragonfly. Very smartly played. What do they have to answer this? Registeel. Okay, this is what happens a lot here, is people switch their Registeel onto my Alolan Muck. But this is actually really great because it allows my Lapras to avoid the Registeel. Um, they must not have a Swampert, because when my Alolan Muck is switch, uh, switch locked like this, Swampert is definitely the best response. Flash Cannon definitely hurts. I most likely will start committing some shields in this matchup here. Because I want uh, I want them to start using some of their shields too. My Dark Pulse barely outpaces the Flash Cannon. Again, it's a, it's a 12 turn, it takes 12 turns to get to these Dark Pulses because it takes 4 Snarls. And it takes 13 turns for a Registeel to get to these Flash Cannons. So I'm able to barely outpace it. I'm expecting a shield to go right here. I really hope so. Okay, good. They're mirroring my shield usage. This is exactly what I want. I'm totally okay committing another shield here because I want to get all of the shields down. Okay, now I'm going to over farm a little bit here because if... Oh, what did they switch into? Articuno. Oh man, this is so great. What I'm going to... Uh, okay, I don't want to get too greedy. One more Snarl. Switch into Lapras. They still have a shield. Totally fine by me. Are they going to go for the Icy Wind debuff? Or are they going to go for the Ancient Power attempt at damage? Ancient Power. But uh, does not do that much damage. They don't get the boost. Thank goodness. I'm going to heavily over farm here. Looks like Articuno wins that CMP tie. Is this going to be an Icy Wind? Okay, so they are playing the debuff game. Uh, so whatever next matchup comes out, it's going to be bad for me. I don't think I'm at a Surf yet. I might be two Ice Shards away. Oh, but I'm going to be able to get it here. Very nice. Very nice. Whatever comes out, I'm Surfing it. Okay, this is a the Registeel. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I want to get another Surf off, even though my damage is reduced. I get the last shield. Amazing. Able to get this last Surf off as well. I've only been debuffed once, so I'm feeling very solid about my position right here. Okay. Switching the Mewtwo to catch this Flash Cannon, I have reset the debuff on my Lapras. If I can get to an Ice Beam, I can take out the Giratina. Flash Cannon doesn't even take out the Mewtwo, holy crap. Okay. Touche, touche. Uh, Registeel is out of energy, though. I just need to hit this... Oh, boy. I'm fairly far away from an Ice Beam. <laughs> Actually, this thing is in Surf range. What the heck am I talking about? They are running Dragon Claw and Shadow Sneak, as we know. That timer is popping up there. And so I want to preserve as much health as possible. Can I take out this Reggie? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Are we 4-0, folks? Man, there were some comments in the last video saying, that team sucks. What are you doing? That team is so bad. But off camera, I've been telling you, I've been going like 4-1, and 5-0. Where are we right now? We are freaking 4-0, and people. This is awesome. And we've been fairly fortunate with leads. That's the great thing about Armored Mewtwo is there's really no such thing as like a horrible lead. Because everything you're still going to be able to hit uh, at least neutral on. Like even if we get matched up against a Giratina like we've seen there or a Giratina origin form, the Confusion and Psy Strike damage is still no joke, so you're able to chip away at it and possibly even get a shield in that opening matchup. Um, yeah, that's a really... Okay, we're going up against CCO. Very talented trainer. You've seen him on uh, King's channel a bunch. Is he going to put a stop to our fun? Oh, this is a nice lead. Our Lapras needs to avoid this. What's going to come out? He's st whoa, he is staying in this. He's probably going to go for 
Probably going to go for uh, Mega Horn, which is going to hit for super effective. Yeah, I will show this. I'm just going to fully commit to the farm down here. Maybe he's just totally going to sacrifice this lead. Oh. What in the world? Okay, I'm going to get a dynamic punch off and then bring out the Lapras so I can still avoid that Heracross. This does a decent chunk. I don't want this Alolan Muck to get too ahead of, on energy here. I was able to get an, uh, an Ice Shard there while he was throwing his charge move, which is really good for me. Sludge Wave, he does go for the heavy hitting move right off the bat. Great play. Two, three... Takes four Snarls for Dark Pulse, five Snarls for Sludge Wave. And as we saw there, Sludge Wave did about 50% of my health. Okay. I will commit a shield here, even though he's probably baiting me. Okay, thank goodness it was the Sludge Wave. Now I can over farm. Two, three... I'm probably getting very close to being in Dark Pulse range, which is a little scary. I get the second shield, really good for me. Out comes Heracross. And this Surf is going to be able to take out the Heracross. What is he going to bring out? What's in the back? We don't know what's in the back yet. Hmm. Please tell me it's a Giratina. That'd be amazing. Swampert would be kind of sketchy. We're going to see it now. Oh, it's Venusaur. Wow. Going to bring out my own Alolan Muck. No matter what... Oh, yes, I got a Snarl in uh, during this animation as well. Why did I not bring out... Okay, I'm like, they're going to switch out of this anyways. Right? Right? I still have my Mewtwo, which doesn't have enough energy for a Psy Strike yet. I don't think because I did dump that dynamic punch into the Alolan Muck. Okay, these frenzy plants are no joke. And they're gonna do a lot of damage to Mewtwo even though I can hit it for super effective. This Venusaur is still alive, which is annoying. Okay, I barely am able to get this Dark Pulse off before the Venusaur can throw a frenzy plant. Now this Alolan Muck in the back does have to commit to dumping its energy. Great counting. If this is a Dark Pulse, it is going to be enough. Uh, it is going to be enough to take me out. Hmm. I feel like this thing still has a lot of loaded energy, though. Oh, I had a Psy Strike loaded. Let's go. This should be enough to take it out. Man, I farmed so much on that Heracross in the opening matchup. 5-0, and oh, people! 5-0! and oh. Wow! That has not happened on a live video... Uh... Ever? Or in a really long time? Holy crap! That is amazing! Let's see how high our ranking is now. Oh, it's a freaking Landorus. I might have to edit this part out depending on how long this takes to catch this thing. So just bear with me. Oh, yeah, you're going to move to the side, aren't you? All right, we are back after wasting about five minutes of my life trying to catch this stupid thing. Uh, hopefully Niantic changes that at some point. Let's see how uh, much we went up there. 3065, everyone. That is definitely the highest rating that I have achieved this season. So I'm super happy with that. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. I hope you all are doing well. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Uh, link will be down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.